Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plans. Thank you for joining me for another video and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the new Bath & Body Works Sweet Cherry Fragrance. So, if you want to see my thoughts, then keep on watching. On my channel, I discuss fragrance planning and body care, and if those are things that interest you, please consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a part of my online community. So y'all, let's get right into this video. Y'all, so I do have the new Sweetheart Cherry fragrance from Bath & Body Works. Now before y'all come at me, before y'all say, I thought you weren't going to be buying any new fragrances, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I did not pay for these. I used my Bath & Body Works rewards and I got all of these things for free. Just saw that they had this new fragrance line available in addition to some new scents as well, but they were not $16.95, so I left those in the store. So y'all, this new Sweetheart Cherry, it is all that and then some if you have not gotten your nose on this fragrance y'all stop into bath and body works give it a sniff and yeah because it is so so good it's so good y'all okay so y'all know that i love that sugar cherry crisp i did not yeah i did get that a few years ago i got it only in I think I only got it in the body cream, but I wanted the fine fragrance mist. So I got the fine fragrance mist off Macari. But y'all, this does not smell like sugar cherry crisp at all. This smells so, so good. You get, when you smell it, you get the cherry. I get a little bit of that nuttiness from the pistachio. And it is creamy, y'all. It is blended to perfection. You can't just say, oh, I smell the cherry. Oh, I smell the pistachio because it's not blended well. It is blended to perfection. And this is good. Bath & Body Works did good with this one. So, y'all, the notes in this one are wild cherry, crushed pistachio, and whipped vanilla. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's gourmand too, y'all. Oh, it's good. So, you know what, y'all? The cherry in this reminds me not of the cherry in Sugar Cherry Crisp. This reminds me of the cherry in Firecracker Pop. Raylan said it smelled like black cherry Merlot to her. I don't think so. I more or less get Firecracker Pop. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. And y'all, did I show y'all what the bottle looks like? So here is the packaging on here. Um, it's okay to me. It looks cartoonish. I'm not too hung up on packaging. Um, I like a good packaging, but this is okay. It's not anything that, you know, I won't buy it just because of how the packaging looks. And also... Strawberry Pound Cake has this same type of packaging only with the strawberries, but y'all, this was $16.95, so I was able to use my reward. Um, so I got two of the Fine Fragrance Mist only because I said, you know what, that's backup worthy. Then I got two of the Body Creams, and these were $16.95. And I also got two of the Sweetheart Cherry um, body washes, and these were $14.95. But y'all, remember I said in a previous video, I don't know how these videos are going to, how I'm going to publish them because I'm doing a whole bunch of batch uploading because my mom and I will be on vacation next week. I'm gonna be gone, we're gonna be gone for a week and I need videos to share with y'all or to upload so I don't know how these are going to upload I don't know in the order so um 
I was gonna say, if you haven't seen the video of my SAS haul, I'll put it here in the cards. But y'all, I told y'all that to me and my nose, the body washes or the shower gels are sweeter than the rest of the body care. And it is, y'all, this is so good. This is really sweet. You get that cherry, the pistachio, and that vanilla. Y'all, this is just so good. I haven't used it yet. I only sprayed it in store. Um, but you know what, though? Um, I've only sprayed it in store on my hand, tested it out on my hand. When Raylan smelled the... Um, hand cream she said to her it smelled like black cherry merlot but that's what i said no spray or spray the fine fragrance mist and then see what you think and then she said then she smelled a, she said it smelled a little different but y'all that's what i'm telling you when you try it on your skin versus sniffing it from the bottle it smells a little it could smell a little different when it melts with your skin chemistry Oh, y'all, it smells so good. But yes, to me, the cherry in sweet cherry, sweetheart cherry, is the ch same cherry that Bath and Body Works used in Firecracker Pop. Now, if y'all don't know about Firecracker Pop, that released, I want to say three or four years ago. It comes back every summer, and I love it. It smells like a bomb pop. Yeah, I have to change my battery. So anyway, um... I sprayed the Sweetheart Cherry Fragrance Mist on the back of my hand. And at first, you get this burst of cherry. Now that it has calmed down, I'm no longer getting the cherry, but I'm now getting the pistachio and the creaminess from the, uh, from the, from the, is it whipped vanilla or creamy vanilla? What is it? From the whipped vanilla. So, I wanted to share with y'all my small haul of the Sweetheart Cherry and to give you a first impression. I also, in addition to that, I want to give you some layering combos. Now, I haven't tried these out yet. I just told y'all that I have not worn the Sweetheart Cherry yet because I just got it a few days ago. These are going to be fragrances that I think will pair well with the body care, okay? So you're gonna take here your Sweetheart Cherry and you're gonna combine it with, if you have this in your collection, the newest Black Opium, YSL Black Opium Over Red. Now, I think this has notes of, there's cherry in here. I think there's a hint of coffee, there's vanilla. I wanna say maybe some patchouli. But the cherry is not overly complicated. It like sits in the background, but it's good, y'all. I mean, you can, you get the scent that it is a black, op a black opium flanker, but there's just a hint of cherry in here. So pair these two together, okay? And just bring out a little bit more of the cherry. And so the Sweetheart Cherry and the Black Opium Over Red in that same line of that same family so you got sweetheart cherry and then the black opium lay parfum so y'all this is like a vanilla op overload so i think you have some it's like vanilla on all three levels the opening um the top the mid and the base notes i think there's like maybe some pears some bergamot there's patchouli there's coffee i want to say i don't know all the notes in here but this is very very good this is like I, like i said vanilla overload these two together y'all it's gonna be i know it's going to be perfection because what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring out more of the vanilla in the sweetheart cherry paired with the black opium lay perfum okay so if you want to bring out more of the vanilla i have here the maison mataha escape gourmand y'all i am not sure why i continue to call this perfume Escape Gourmand when I know fully well that that is called Escapade Gourmand. So forgive me for calling that Escape Gourmand. It is Escapade Gourmand.
Now y'all, this is, I think there's only two notes in here. I think it's like sugar cane and musk. This is just a sugar, sweet sugary vanilla scent. It smells like sugar cookies. It's so good. So again, if you want to bring out more of the vanilla and the sweetheart cherry, get you some or pair it with the Maison Mataha Escape Gourmand. But now if you don't have um, Escape Gourmand, because I know this is a little bit pricey, then you could also use the or pair it with Indult by Tijota. Now y'all, this one here, this is pricey also, but y'all, this, oh, this smells so good. This is vanilla extract. This is so good. I on and okay, with the Escape Gourmand, with Escape Gourmand and Indult by Tijota, I only, only spray these on my post points, especially Indult. Now, the Escape Gourmand, I will spray this on the top part of my body and like on my shirt. But this one here, this is going on my post points, like on my neck, behind my ears, um, on my decollete, and then in my, you know, on my chest. So that way I can get whiffs of this all day. Oh, this smells so good. So y'all, if you wanna bring out more of the vanilla and the Sweetheart Cherry, Pair your Tahota by Indult with the Sweetheart Cherry. If you don't have this, you can use any vanilla fragrance that you have in your collection. You don't have to necessarily have this. This is what I have, and this is what I'm going to be pairing with the Sweetheart Cherry. So if you want just a chocolate cherry, I've got two options for you. So get your Sweetheart Cherry and pair it with your Choco Musk by All Rehab. Y'all, you can get this off Amazon. It costs like, I bought mine for like less than $10. The price probably has gone up a little bit now, but you can find this on Amazon for probably less than $15, $15 or less, less than 20, less than 20 bucks, okay? And I don't know all of the notes in this um, Choco Musk, but I think there's like cinnamon, vanilla. Um, I don't know what else is in here, but y'all, what I get out of this is um, chocolate. That's what I get from this. It's just pure, straight up chocolate. And it's so good. So y'all, again, if you want a chocolate covered cherry, pair your Choco Musk with your Sweetheart Cherry. To continue with the chocolate covered cherry, y'all, I think, I don't know if I shared this with y'all before, but I'm sharing it with y'all now. Woo! Okay, we're gonna go in with our Chocoholic from Dawkins Aroma. When I tell you this smells like a chocolate fudge brownie this is good y'all this is so good i had said before that i smelled this is supposed to be a dupe of montal's chocolate greedy I, I had a sample of it um but the sample came it was a really little small sample where you couldn't spray it. you can just dab it on your post points well y'all when i sampled the Montal's Chocolate Greedy. I said I prefer Chocoholic. Yeah, this is so good. This is good. I don't know all the notes in this. I'll probably put them somewhere here on the bottom. But y'all, this is good. This is, like I said, just know that it smells like a gooey chocolate fudge brownie. It smells so good. I'm telling you, this smells good. And this is a black owned business also. Y'all, yeah, Chocoholic and Sweetheart Cherry. I already know this is gonna be a banger. I already know. So if you want to pull out more of the cherry, okay, I am going to suggest that you pair this with Fineries 
not another cherry and y'all I think you can get this from still from Target that's where I got mine from again I don't know all the notes listed in here but this is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and I want to say probably even Kayali's would would Kayali's Love Fest Burning Cherry but I prefer this over the Kayali cherry perfect cherry fragrance not over Tom Ford's Lost Cherry I don't own Tom Ford Lost Cherry yet um but I'm gonna be adding it to my collection sometime this year. But y'all, this is good. This is not as woody as the Kayali's Love Fest Burning Cherry. So I prefer this one here from Finery. Again, you can get this from Target if you wanna pull out more of the cherry in your Sweetheart Cherry. Pair it with Finery's Not Another Cherry. Again, you can get this from Target. I think it's like, I want to say $29.99, but less than $30, surely less than $50. Keeping with that same line of uh, Finery fragrances, I have Finery Sweet on the outside. And I think this is supposed to be a dupe for Billie Eilish Eilish. This smells good, y'all. I think this has notes of vanilla, Maybe there are some berries in here. I don't know if there's musk or sandalwood, but y'all, this is good. Just think of Billie Eilish's um, Eilish, and this is what this is. This is really good, y'all. Oh, but this is if you want to pull out more of that vanilla and then more of like the, little, the nuttiness. Now, I don't have anything that has pistachios in it. Lie. I do. Hold on. If you want to pull out more of the vanilla and some of the berries in the Sweetheart Cherry, pair these two together. So you have Sweetheart Cherry and then the Fineries Sweet on the outside. Okay, y'all. I said that I didn't have any fragrances with pistachio in it. I lied. I do. I have one. And it's the Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. So this is the only fragrance I believe that I have in my collection that has pistachios in it but this is pistachio gelato so the notes in this are pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream marshmallow and cotton candy y'all I feel like if you pair these two together I mean you're gonna amp up that pistachio note in the sweetheart cherry so I can't wait to wear these and let y'all know Ooh, how it came out Mm, I'm not going to spray it because I don't want to be spraying too much in here. But y'all pair these two together and let me know what you think. Okay, so the last fragrance is um, one that I love. I got it from Victoria's Secret. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this. I had planned to wear this with my Sugar Cherry Crisp. I just hadn't got around to it. I was wearing other things with it, pulling out other notes. Wearing it mainly wearing with the Sugar Cherry Crisp Vanillas. So, y'all... This is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense. So y'all, like again, if you want to pull out more of the cherry, then pair these two together. I don't know the notes in this. I'll put it somewhere um, on the screen. But pair Bombshell Intense with the Sweetheart Cherry to give you more of the cherry in the fragrance because like I said on my skin the cherry you get that blast of cherry in the initial spray but then it settles down and then I pick up more of the pistachio the nuttiness and then the vanilla yeah I said that was gonna be the last one but I found another fragrance and so this is the last one it really is okay so you want to amp up more of the cherry and also bring out some of the vanilla and then some of the nuttiness. I have the perfume. I got this online and this is the Kai's Macaroon from Kai's Perfumes. And y'all, this has cherry, marzipan, I want to say vanilla. 
Oh, this smells so good. It's tart also, but then it's sweet and it's creamy. Y'all, I feel like this right here, these two together, y'all, this is going to be a good combination. Oh, y'all, I was trying to smell it, but the top is on. Y'all, this is going to be good. Mmm, this is good, y'all. So, Kai's Perfumes, and there are some more fragrances fragrances that I want from Kai's Perfumes, but we're talking about this video. Stay on track, Rochelle. Y'all, macarons from Kai's Perfumes paired with the Sweetheart Cherry. 10 out of 10. I already know it is. I haven't tried it out, but I already know it's going to be a hit. So, y'all. So, y'all. Those are all of the fragrances that I have here to pair with your Sweetheart Cherry. So there are, let's count them. So yeah, I just showed y'all 11 fragrances that you can pair with the Bath & Body Works Sweetheart Cherry. Um, they're interchangeable. I mean, you can mix and match however you want to do it. Just come up with your own concoction. Be creative, get creative, play around with your scents, play around with your fragrances, and then make your own unique scent. That is exactly what I do. I look at the scent notes that are in the fine fragrance mist or the body care, and then I look at the scent notes that are in the perfume or the fragrance, and I just go off of that. Sometimes they don't have to pair perfectly and that's okay that's good you want to come up with something that's unique in your own so that way people like to say well i don't want to smell like nobody else well when you're creating your own scent unique scent then you won't smell like anybody else because they're not going to pair the same fragrances that you pair so you have your own unique scent so y'all let me know which fragrance combo was your favorite which one will you be trying out um let us know down in the comment section below um, and also if you have some other fragrances that you would like us to try or like me to try leave the suggestions down below so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me over on instagram at playing with rochelle and thanks so much for watching bye guys